Hello, welcome to this short bed practice. We're gonna be practicing uh, child's pose and some other restorative poses while doing some hamstring stretches. So in terms of props, you're gonna need the pillows on your bed, as well as a yoga strap or a scarf or a belt or a dog leash. I'm using a belt. I have a yoga strap, I have multiple yoga straps, but they're not in my bedroom. So I just grabbed a belt, that's what was close by. So I'm gonna have it here. We don't need it right away. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take two pillows and I'm gonna stack them up on top of one another. So I have two pillows, I'm making them really high lengthwise and I'm going to come to kneel on my bed with my knees nice and wide. I'm gonna slowly lower myself down onto the pillows, my hands, are out in front, I'm on my forearms and I'm resting with my head on the pillow on one side. Breathing here, noticing what you feel. You could think about bringing your toes towards one another, really sticking your butt back down towards your feet. My feet, they're not touching, but they could be. And we're resting here. Know if you have your head leaning on one side, like I'm on my right cheek, maybe you want to move over to the opposite cheek. Breathing here. You can stay here for as long as you like. You can stay here for a longer amount of time. Again, this is a great pose to do before bed or at any time really just to give yourself that rest. Just making sure you're leaning on both cheeks or leaning right in center. You want to alternate just so you give your neck a bit of balance. If you want, maybe you want to come up onto your hands and you can place your forearms on top of the pillow and then look down. Breathing here. Creating sort of a different angle for your upper body. Maybe giving your place, forehead a place to rest. And then maybe you want to come back to that traditional child's pose, resting a little bit more. And then we can slowly start to come off of that. Maybe you want to move the pillows. I'm going to move them to either side and I'm going to come to lie on my back with my knees up towards the sky. And then move this belt or yoga strap, whatever you're using. Take a breath here. I'm going to take the belt of the strap. I'm going to put one foot over the other one. You don't have to do this. This is just my method for getting my foot into the strap. So if you have another way, you could do that as well. I just always end up like <laughs> fighting with the strap. So this is the easiest way for me. So I bring it over one foot and then I raise it up towards the sky. Whatever you're using needs to be just long enough that you can hold the like the strap in either hand. So this belt is like just the right length, but it can also be longer. Think about pointing your toes towards the ceiling and then flexing them down towards your body. Seeing how that feels. You can have a little bit of a bend in your knee. Your leg doesn't have to be perfectly straight. It also doesn't have to be like way up by your head. Just as far as feels good. Taking a breath here. And then maybe we want to take the strap or belt into the same hand, and then we can open up towards the side. And maybe you have that extra pillow there. So I put those pillows that we used before, I have them on either side of my body. And then when I lower my leg down, it rests on that pillow. Take a breath here. 
and then maybe we want to lift it up again. Then maybe we want to turn our toes to face the opposite side of the body. I switch my hands, so now this is my opposite hand and foot, and I can bring it across the midline of my body. Breathing here. Then maybe making sure you have that other pillow on the other side of you, you could slowly bring this leg all the way across doing that twist. That other foot is flat on the, the ground. Or, I mean, the other foot, like the other leg is flat on the bed. It's on the side, on the bed. And then we come back up to center. We'll take another moment in this hamstring stretch. Maybe think about pushing your heel up towards the ceiling. How's that feel? You could also think about lowering your leg down and then bringing it back up again. Lowering it down a little bit and then bring it back up. Maybe you want to bring your strap towards your toes or like the ball of your foot and see how that feels as it intensify things. And then we're going to bring our other foot into the strap. So you could let it go. You can come back into figure four and put that in, or you could take your other foot and just lift it up into that strap and switch it out. So that's what I did. So we'll meet wherever we get there. We'll meet with one foot up in the air, the strap over top of the foot, heel up towards the ceiling. Probably can't see my foot very well, but it's there. Breathing. And then maybe you want to think about pushing that heel up towards the ceiling. You could point and flex your foot. See how that feels. Does it feel different than when you were doing the other side? And then we could take the strap into that same hand and we'll open that leg up out to the side. And again, there's that pillow there from before that's catching that leg so I can rest there. And we'll breathe. And then we'll raise that leg back up one more time. We can think about bringing the strap onto the ball of our foot towards our toes. Noticing how that feels. We can think about bringing the strap into the same hand, or no, the opposite hand of the leg, turning the toes to face the opposite side of the body, and then crossing over the midline of the body. Taking a stretch here. And then maybe we want to turn, come into that twist again. So that bottom leg is down on its side, the other leg is across. We can move our bellies if we need to. Breathing here. And then slowly bringing that leg back up. Breathing here, option to do those up and down movements or playing with the strap to see where it feels good. Thinking about pushing that heel up towards the ceiling. When I do that, it's like super burning fire. So is it like that for you? And then maybe we want to explore having both feet up there. You can make them a little bit wider. And we could roll around, maybe massaging our lower back, noticing how this feels. You could have them closer together. If you choose, you could bend them and straighten them. Anything you really want here, playing around. And then we'll slowly lower them, lower our feet down, back down to the, the bed. <laughs> Keep wanting to say that. Get rid of that strap or whatever you're using. Take a breath. And thank yourself so much for that little stretch, that little practice. It's probably so nourishing for the body. You're welcome to stay here and rest even longer. If you want to get up, you can move your pillows out of the way. Slowly roll to one side and then slowly make your way up. So thank you so much for this practice and make sure you follow for more bed yoga and more other um, yoga for bigger bodies. Thanks.